Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to AOC Commercials here in Carrick Tuhill in County Cork. And look what I have for you today. I've got this 23-year-old Scania 113H with 360 horsepower. So we're going back to the old school today in our test drive. So I'm very much looking forward to showing you all around this truck. Then we'll hop inside and we'll have a look at the interior features and then we'll be getting hooked underneath a trailer and see what this old boy is like out on the open road. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's have a look around the 113H then from 1995. So the Streamline cab came out in 1990 and the 3 Series itself came out in 1987. And if I zoom over there, you'll see a Scania R620 with its V8 engine just pulling off there. So yeah, moving back to this one then. So, so the Streamline, as I said, introduced in 1990, is distinguishable by the front grille and the flared arches there on the side. And also the rear mudguards were part of the update for the Streamline range. But uh, yeah, it's looking very well. AOC have this one in excellent condition, as you'll see. So we have two fuel tanks, 560 litres on both sides. So 1120 litres, you'll have plenty of range in your 360 horsepower 113H. And the uh, fifth wheel there, just sitting a bit high up there on the chassis. But that is your automatic greasing system. And we just have a look at the back of the cab, all the Susies there and your full air deflector kit. Of course, the trucks today are a lot more aerodynamic, so you wouldn't have these gaps on either side on the newer Scanias. And uh, nice Alcoa aluminium wheels. So we have an air ride rear suspension and the front is on parabolic A-leaf springs. So that's how it looks. And I'll just give you a look at the rear of the truck. We see the old lenses there on the rear the rear lamps and your air tank there on the rear and it's all covered in here all the chassis area with checkered plate just to give it a tidy look on the rear but yeah bit of a classic Scania here now <laughs> and we move over to the battery box area now these had a tendency to fall off and get lost by drivers so you know you really had to keep an eye on that nut that would hold it in and make sure that it doesn't fall off but that was just one of the quirks with this truck uh, a lot of drivers would end up losing their battery cover if they weren't careful so just having a quick look into the engine there yeah <laughs> and uh, you'll see the little air suspension system there your two-point air suspension on the back of the cab so yeah just moving it around just giving you a quick look at this old Scania and uh, yeah we have our um, wide angle mirror there your curb mirror and the wide angle on top and the big mirror and we have this very good blind spot mirror on the front as well and the old sun visor on top and the air horns we have and four spots that were added on after but yeah that's uh that's how it looks on these old trucks we have two fold down steps and i'm just going to open up the grill i have the catch there already open so just to pull it open, uh, at least I thought I had it open. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have <laughs> straight away. The big massive radiator there in behind the grill. And you can also top up your coolant with the grill closed. That is your coolant bottle. And we can top up our oil there. And we also have the dipstick there as well. All very easily accessible throughout the cab here. And you'll see our two point front suspension here for the cab as well. So as I said, the front axle is on springs. These are just the cab airbags, just for keeping things as steady as possible on the road. But yeah, your one piece grill, very big piece. And you'd have to be careful as well not to knock your head off that. <laughs> if you're an old driver of these trucks, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's hop inside. So uh, we have the three steps leading up into the cab. And a good big top step there. I like the way that's nice and flat. So <laughs> it's just like the new generation trucks. They've gone back to the flat top step. 
which uh, makes climbing in and out just that little bit easier and we have a lamp there for lighting up the the steps at night but uh, that is your old key I'm gonna pop that in there out of the way and we do have a clutch pedal of course this is a manual gearbox it's a 3 over 3 gearbox so uh, you split all the gears for a total of 12 and that is your exhaust brake button uh, nice strong mat there for protecting your floor we have a fold out drawer there underneath the driver's seat and uh, <laughs> yeah we have the old remote control for the back axle for rising and lowering your back axle now the finish on the seats is a blue textile finish so uh, yeah it looks quite well and it's in great condition as well AOC have it looking fantastic and we have even have lumbar support on the driver's seat which is very good now on the more plusher versions of this truck you would also have textile on the doors as well you'll have a textile finish all around here but this particular version is a bit more basic um, in this 360 horsepower 113H but yeah let's hop inside and see what it's like <laughs> yeah that is uh, it brings back a lot of memories when you hop into these old trucks uh, I just have the sunroof tilted open there just to give you a look at that and uh, we just have one bunk as well of course you can get two bunks if you wish but just the one on this version and uh, yeah we have electric windows on both sides I'm just gonna pull open the fuse uh, board there just to give you a look at that and yeah nice to have the dashboard kind of flat you know you can keep all your bits and pieces up there when you're pulled in and having your food on the passenger seat and the curtains and storage up along here and this is a CB that they put in afterwards and your radio up top so moving down to the dashboard so we have our hazard switch there and our air horn cigarette lighter and uh, that's for your heated mirrors and that's for your electric window and all our uh, ventilation controls heating controls and our differential lock and let's move over to the gauges so we have fuel gauge engine temperature oil gauge batteries and these are your air pressure gauges and our rev counter and of course our taco and you would open it up there and fill in your taco and go on your days driving so this particular truck is 679,000 um, kilometers on it so um, yeah it wouldn't be a hell of a lot maybe it's gone around the clock I'm not too sure but <laughs> it could be 1.6 million I'm not sure but uh, that is your uh, catwalk lamp there and another lamp switch and your headlights here but yeah that's how it's looking in the cab now the steering wheel has definitely been renewed this is uh, not the original steering wheel I can tell that by the wear on it um, it's uh, quite nice there so um, usually when these have that much mileage they're usually a lot more smoother but yeah you can definitely tell that that is uh, um, that steering wheel has been replaced but that is your trailer brake this is your handbrake and this is for holding your engine revs and this is for knocking off your engine so you don't knock off the engine by the key um, it's by that lever there uh, somebody has a very loud car there <laughs> what is that a Lexus is it a Lexus or an Alteza it's an Alteza I think <laughs> okay moving back to the truck so that is your gear stick uh, 3 over 3 as I said and you split all the gears there and that is your range changer up and down through the range so three lower three upper and you split each gear there so uh, that's how it looks on the gearbox now one thing I mentioned before when I was doing another truck um, a similar age to this one or even older now these did tend to give trouble um, they would wear all around the uh, gear stick here would wear and then you would get a draft up and drivers would stick rags down here to stop the draft coming up but uh, yeah I know of one particular driver not mentioning any names and his truck went up on fire <laughs> because he stuffed a rag down here so yeah um, yeah <laughs> I won't say who he is maybe I will in uh, in a video to come but uh, if he's watching he knows who he is <laughs> but <laughs> that is just storage underneath there uh, very handy and of course our cup holders back here but yeah that's how it looks inside of the old Scania 113 and uh, I'm gonna take this out on the road and we'll see what it's like <laughs> okay let's start it up see what it's like <laughs>
Yeah, I, you'll be familiar with that old buzzing noise. That means we need to build up the air before we set off. So yeah, let's build up the air and get hooked underneath that trailer. <laughs> Hit the road! I keep going for a seatbelt, but there is no seatbelt. But uh, let's just set off here now. Straight away I notice the steering is uh, a bit heavy. But uh, let's just move our way out of the junction here and hit the road. <laughs> Get it up into a higher gear. Okay, make our way down the back road here. <laughs> yeah, so when you're used to driving automatic trucks, getting back into a manual again is uh, really bringing back the memories. But. As I said before, with these old trucks, you'd be surprised just how stable the cab is, the suspension on the cab, because you would have less weight in this cab, the way it's suspended. So you have less weight up top, and uh, it's very well, you know, balanced, the cab, on its suspension. So uh, just driving away here now, over a few bumps. <laughs> Now straight away you'll notice as well just how loud it is um, coming up from the gear stick there. There's a lot of noise coming up. But um, that's just the way these trucks were. Of course as the years went on, sound insulation became a far lot uh, more far more advanced of course with double glazing windows and now the new generation Scania's have an acoustic laminate just to cut down on road noise. But <laughs> listen to the engine. Okay, it's not a V8, it's only a straight six cylinder diesel engine. Uh, developing around 1660 Newton meters of torque. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the memories, huh? Uh, but I tell you guys, it might be an old truck. Still, still motoring away, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. And we're just in third gear there. Now the gears don't like to be rushed, guys. <laughs> they do not like to be rushed. And we're just in fourth high. So if I flick my splitter switch, get it into fifth low, and so ninth gear, and then flip our switch. Now we're up into 10th gear. So just having each gear and we're just tipping away nice and handy and we'll get out onto the dual carriageway just to get it up to 80 kilometers because I'd like to see what it's revving in at. But you'll see there on the rev counter, these old Scania's, they had a green band with E on it and that would mean that you're driving in the most economical part of the rev range. So you can save on fuel just by keeping it in the E-band. All these new trucks now, you have eco mode, normal mode, power mode. Yeah, that's the way the trucks have advanced over the years. <laughs> now we're at a very busy roundabout here in Carrick Tool. So I'll just wait here now and get out onto the dual carriageway. We've no weight on the trailer, so we can drive away like this. Obviously, if you, if you had weight on your trailer, you would be going down through an awful lot more of those gears. But, um, yeah, it's pulling away. Very, very easy here now. <laughs> and we're back into 10th gear. And into 11th. And just keeping it in the E-band. And then up into 12th gear. 
Now I'm just going to get it up to 80 kilometers just to see what this engine is revving in at. 360 horses, here we go. <laughs> okay, uh, now we're at 80 kilometers. So we're just revving in there at just under 1500 RPM. Just under 1500 RPM. So as you would know, all the newer trucks would be revving in at about 1100 RPM at that equivalent. So, uh, yeah, oh, I have no idea what's going on here. But uh, I am going to turn off. Oh, I'm going to turn off the dual carriageway. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? There's an accident here, boys. There is an accident. Oh my God. What? Oh no. Oh no. Look at the Civic. Oh. There's a Honda Civic there. Oh, lads, that's a bad accident, but everyone looks okay anyway. Yeah, everyone looks okay, just that Civic must have crashed into another car. <sighs> this is it, boys, when you're recording a video, anything can happen. But uh, yeah, just a random accident there. Okay, we've just turned around now, making our way back. And up through the gearbox. But it is changing gear very, very well. Um, yeah, I'm surprised at that. Usually these gearboxes get very sloppy over the years, but this one is quite tight for its age. So, back up to 12th gear, and back on the dual carriageway. <laughs> but you'll just notice how narrow the uh, windscreen is as well. It's so much more narrower than the newer trucks. But it's amazing. I mean, the visibility out to the right is absolutely great because the pillar here is a lot n narrower than the newer trucks. Because the newer trucks all have to pass all these crash test safety regulations and the pillars are far more thicker on the newer trucks. But um, yeah, that is, that's uh, quite something to see all that visibility out of the cab. But there are guys still driving these trucks today on a regular basis but this truck wouldn't be doing a hell of a lot of mileage around AOC um, but yeah I wouldn't mind having one of these now just as a classic truck to own uh, but the 143s yeah they're becoming a they are becoming a bit of a collector's item the old 143s especially the Centurion version so the engine wouldn't sound like a V8. Um, the V8 engines have a very distinctive sound. You can notice it straight away, uh, just listening to the V8s. So a lot of you Scania enthusiasts, you would definitely know your straight sixes from your V8s just by hearing them. But uh, yeah, that just about brings us to an end of the test drive. I'm just gonna, yeah, we're gonna pull back up into AOC. But yeah, I quite enjoyed that now today. Driving the old 113. <laughs>from the drive let's just give a few honks of the air horn there okay I'm just gonna turn it off uh, don't go running off just yet guys the video is not over yet I have some tipper trucks to show you but uh, let's just hop out of the 113 H with 360 horsepower and around 1660 Newton meters of torque as I said but uh, yeah I quite enjoyed that drive oh look we have the G450 XT <laughs> pulling off there yeah I think there's a cattle body going on to that one yeah the XT uh, yeah that was just completely random uh, him just driving off okay a few more tipper trucks to show you here let's have a look
Okay, so he's back there with the P450 XT. Now some of you will remember I shot a video of one of these tipper trucks, the XT, but this one has a couple of additional features I just want to show you. So you'll see the extra bar there on the front, so you could nearly mount a couple of spot lamps there if you wish. But uh, that is an additional feature. And also if I move around here, you'll see this handle. We have a handle up there and we also have a step built into to the side of the truck. So you'll be able to stand up there and look in on top of your load on the back of the body. So uh, yeah, it still has to have mud guards fitted there. Your brand new P450 XT. So if I move over here, I just want to show you three tipper trucks. We have three P450 uh, tipper trucks lined up there and we also have the new generation R450. Brand new, just uh, ready to be collected by its owner. So we have three bodies here. So those two bodies are built by Gleason's and this one is built by Keltruck. So all very nicely finished. And I'll show you as well on the chassis area. There's no subframe on this one. Um, not on this particular um, tipper truck, but if I zoom over there, you'll see in the middle one there, we have a subframe on top of the chassis. So this just gives it extra strength when your load is tipped up and you have a heavy load. It just stops the chassis uh, flexing too much just to give it that extra strength. But um, yeah, they're, they're all very nicely done now, aren't they? And the Ed Bro, your ram there. So I'm just gonna walk around the front here and give you a quick look around. So these trucks developing 2,315 Newton meters of torque. Uh, so much more powerful than the 113H from 1995, but that is your R450. Yeah, time has moved on so much with all of these new trucks now. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave you today from AOC Commercials here in Carrick Tool in County Cork. Really enjoyed my drive today in that old Scania, 23 years of age and still driving quite well. Of course, I wouldn't have the power of today's trucks, though today's trucks are just so much more powerful. But for its age, as I said, still driving quite well. So AOC are looking after this one very, very nicely. And also, I just want to mention the Facebook and Instagram pages. I'm going to leave the link for those pages in the description. So give them a follow at AOC and keep an eye on the old trucks and the new trucks that they're selling down here, okay? So yeah, um, just a quick mention also, in a few days time, literally five days time after you watch this video, Cannonball Ireland will start. And I just want to give you guys a quick reminder of how it went last year. So guys, I'm gonna leave you there just before I show you that short clip of Cannonball. I'll say thank you all very much for watching and I'll chat to you all again in the next video next weekend. Have a quick look at Cannonball. Take care guys, cheers! today to see what the hello hello he doesn't like me the dog the dog doesn't like me boys <laughs>